Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. All right, side for today's video. So, uh, beers courtesy Ross. Thanks so much, Ross. I really appreciate it. Um, almost forgot that. So, uh, I probably have mentioned on camera recently that I've like been doing house projects. It's summertime. I'm a teacher uh, uh, for people who don't know me super well. You would think that would mean relaxation. No, because I'm married to someone who's not a teacher and we have an old house, so it's me just doing projects all the time. So when she comes home from work, she's like, oh, you did this. I'm not mad at you. And uh, so today I've been reglazing windows. Pain. Ladder work. It's kind of like dirty and gross. It sucks. Reglazed the last window of the house. Did half of them. Actually, did a little bit over half last summer. Finished them up this summer. Wait a couple weeks. I can paint them. Project done, right? So I'm like, I want something special to celebrate, uh, uh, such a milestone. And uh, also, it kind of makes sense. Uh, I wanted this one anyway, but I reviewed the, uh, dare I say, smaller version of this last week. So this is Revolutions VSOR, Rye Ale Aged in Rye and Bourbon Barrels. So I did the uh, Rye Way to Heaven last week. And uh, But here's what's different. This one was aged for two years. Um, and what does that stand for? Very special old ryeway. V S O R. Fifteen point four percent ABV, owing to two years in pre uh, premium rye whiskey barrels. The slightly sweeter blend of our rye wine oozes with malt-derived complexities, reminiscent of maple, on alongside enough oak to build a bedroom set, <laughs> with a grist composed of, uh, over. 60% uh, rye, very special old ryeway, is deceptively balanced given its massive body. Enjoy now or store cold. This was filled middle of January of this year, so February, March, April, May, June, July. About half a, yeah, six months in the can. Let's get it out of that can into a glass. It poured very much like a light cola kind of color. Yeah, when it's in the glass, yeah, it's it's brown, but there's a lot of red in there. I think I said the same thing with the Ryeway. How I poured it, almost exactly a finger of a mm, slightly dark khaki color. Uh, the bubbles are small. They're not super compact. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks, you know, you know, like a big like barley wine, rye, uh, uh, beer. Um, yeah. Oh, how about some legs? Some nice legs. Lacing goes away quickly. Let's get into that aroma. The spiciness from the rye that I got in Ryeway, and I'm not going to try to compare the two, but I, inevitably I'm going to because it was just a week ago and this is a bigger version. This is spicier right off the bat. And I thought that one had a nice level of spice, but this one definitely has more rye spiciness. More oak makes perfect sense. There is still that sweet, toffee, butterscotch kind of thing with some caramel, burnt sugar, brown sugar, your dates, uh, uh, raisins, that whisper of chocolate, which I think I got in the rye way. A little bit of booziness comes through, kind of cuts through that, you know, some of the sweet elements I'm talking about. Some vanilla. I get their maple thing, but it doesn't come across as maple to me, but it smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Ross. Wow. Yeah, so this this does the things I want it to, big time. Wow, <clears throat> that full extra. Cause I think the other one, the right way, was one year, right? Maybe nine months to a year, something like that. This two years in the barrel. Not that it's overly oaky, but that oak barrel rye specifically, a little bit of the bourbon as well. What that does to the base beer, it still has all those sweet elements I want, all those sweet elements I got in the aroma, but it does cut it down in a very good way. Maybe cut it down is not the right way of saying it, but like 
uh, a bringing it balance, probably better way of saying it, but it really does cut down on that sweetness uh, in, in a, a way that I think it deserves. And uh, although I love sweet things the way I want it. Yeah, I mean, this, this is really doing what I want it to. Yeah, date syrup for sure. A little bit of baking spices. It smells phenomenal. To me, it's more caramel and date than the regular Ryeway. That one, I got those things, but I'm pretty sure I landed on butterscotch as being like the bigger thing. Whereas I do get a little bit of that in this. Um, yeah, yeah, that caramel date thing. It, and it's it's like rum-soaked raisins. It's like rye whiskey and bourbon-soaked dates. You know, like, or, <clears throat> and then you made a caramel sauce with some whiskey in it. And then, like, poured that over the uh, bourbon and rye soaked dates, <laughs> like in beer form, of course. Um, the yeah, the alcohol it's not over like like it's it's a little bit of warmth in the chest. It's not overly done on the palate, which I really appreciate. Um, this is a beer I wouldn't mind uh, tasting a little bit of alcohol. Not that I'm going to say I want more alcohol in this uh, in the taste, but. If there was more, I wouldn't knock it. I'll put it that way. So I'm not seeking it. I'm not seeking it out, but also it could hold up to that. I think because of the barrel aging and the fact that it has that alcohol content, again, it's just cutting down on some of that sweetness in, in a really nice way. It's phenomenal. I think it's clear how much I like this beer. It, it, it's, it's, and it's, uh, I said in the aroma, same thing in the, the taste. It's not quite maple to me. Like to me, it's very specific. I, I see what they're going for. It, it's all these sweet things I'm mentioning wrapped up in what to me is specifically oak, not maple. You know what? It also has with those baking spices. It, it's kind of like Christmassy. There's a kiss of this pine menthol thing real real subtle probably the hops they're using um like fighting to be heard just a little bit of that uh, underneath all of this just decadent dark fruit dried fruit caramel sauces you know nice reductions like it's just this beer is it is it slaps is that is that what the kids say two years ago and probably that behind yeah fantastic thanks again ross i really appreciate it have you guys had this beer before uh, have you had ryeway and you didn't chime in last week to that one you want to tell me about it um hey were you able to get the and try that uh, i know because revolution if you're watching this uh you know uh, um around when i'm actually posting it uh last week they released that coconut version of uh death star death star uh have you had that I would love to hear about that. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.